In this video, my friends, we're unboxing, setting up, and having a first look at the LG NanoCell 75 inch Nano 75. Now, this is a huge TV that gives you that completely immersive feeling. Let's get started. Don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell to get my next video first. A full disclosure, LG have provided me with this TV. They've not asked me to say anything good or bad about it. And full information about this TV can be found in the link in the description. In the top of the box, you get your legs, which I'll come on to in a second because they're pretty small compared to how big this TV is. And they're also made of metal. The next thing you need to do, probably get two people, but I did it myself, was remove the huge top part to it. And then you're left with the actual TV itself and the box. Inside there are a fairly minimal amount of bits and pieces, but the one thing that you'll be pleased with is the brand new 2021 remote that is present. So as well as that new magic remote, you get the instructions for it, you also get batteries for it, and you also get some cable management, which we'll come on to in a second, and obviously all of your warranty and how to set up guides. Now, even before you remove the rest of the packaging, you can see how thin this TV is. It was really quite incredible for a TV this size, how thin it is, but I'll go over some of those measurements in just a few moments. Now, my friends, do remember that these TVs are very delicate, so make sure that you're very careful with it. I always keep mine completely wrapped within its original packaging and then attach the stands to the bottom before taking any of that packaging off. You've got the ideal solution. You can lay it down on top of the box and the screen will remain protected. Then you can just take off the bottom row of the packaging and then insert the legs. It's a lot easier that way. This NanoCell 75 inch has got quite a wide span and the distance between the feet is approximately 51 inches or 1 meter 30. So bear that in mind because you will need an appropriate TV stand to put it on. Now I mentioned about those legs. Those legs are incredibly thin, incredibly good looking, but definitely feel very strong and robust. Attaching those legs to the TV is a breeze. All you need to do is push the legs up against the TV and then just tighten up the screws provided. It is that simple. The cable management is best described as minimal. The back of the TV has everything that you would expect. There's the visa mount for hanging it on the wall, and then you've got your connections. Here you have a rear-facing HDMI port, a rear-facing USB and optical, as well as a LAN port, and then the remaining HDMI 1 and 2, and also your other connections are on the side. One of the reasons I'm going to be wall mounting my TV is because it is so thin. It's just incredible how thin they can make these large screen 75 inch TVs nowadays. So with the power of a bit of editing, we've now mounted the TV and there's just a couple of little strips of polythene to remove and then we're ready to go. And I do have to say this thing does look the business. So this LG NanoCell 75 inch TV is not gonna be for everyone, but who it's going to be for is the people that want that immersive big screen without having to spend a fortune. It's quite incredible how affordable this TV is. Check the link in the description for the local price in your area because I was absolutely blown away when I saw how much this was. You're getting a really smart looking TV that looks good from every angle and delivering a huge screen and also great picture quality. So when it comes to the full review, which we'll be doing in a few days time, we'll be looking at all of the pros and cons to getting this type of TV. We'll look at the advantages of the bigger screen, but comparing that to some of the things maybe that you miss out on by spending similar money on a smaller set. And then hopefully you'll be able to know whether this is the right type of TV for you and your type of use. We'll look at everything from gaming and streaming HDR content to watching standard TV and how does this perform with standard definition. All of those things will be coming in our full review. It's very easy to set up your NanoCell 75 inch TV. Once you've connected to your own Wi-Fi, then you'll just need to accept some of the terms and conditions. Be careful to read through all of those because there are things like advertising options and things like that. You'll then find that the TV will automatically detect what has been connected to it. In my case, I've just got my Sky satellite box and my Sonos soundbar. If you wish, you can set up a LG account and that will give you more options when you're in your home screen. And you can also choose to have certain apps already installed. But again, you don't have to do those straight away. You can do those at a later date. This is the brand new home screen, brand new for 2021. And if you were to sign into your LG account, you would get some more customized 
options in those top boxes. It would find content which it thinks that you may like based on previous choices that you've made. There is a very intuitive search function where you can literally go in and search either through genre like drama, comedy, etc. Or you can type in everything that you need and go straight to the program. And this will pull information from various different sources, for instance, Amazon Prime and Netflix. You can see to the lower of the screen, you've got your app list bar. And again, you can customize that by pressing and holding, and then you can either drag the app to one side or another. So for instance, if you wanted Apple TV to be your first application, drag it all the way to the left and it will be the one that's there first. Likewise, if there's an application that you don't really use, then you can select that by pressing and holding and then go up to the delete and it would delete it off of the home screen. It's very easy to put it back if you make a mistake. But I think it's just great that you can have only the applications that you really want to have there. Now, those of you that may be worried about having a very large TV up on the wall, don't. I was absolutely blown away by the way that this TV looked. The fact that it's so close to the wall means that the extra size, well, it doesn't really cause any issue. And I was really surprised. I thought that 75 inches was going to be far too big, but I absolutely love it. And one thing that I've noticed, no matter what angle I'm looking at the TV, it certainly doesn't look too big. Don't get me wrong, you get all of the benefit of that huge nano cell 75 inches, but it doesn't look ridiculously big in a room. And if I go out to the decking part, which is the patio just outside, looking in, it means I can sit outside and still see the TV. And again, I think it looks pretty good. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are. So my friends, that's it for this unboxing and setup video. Be sure to check out the link in the description and find out a lot more about this TV. But I'm going to be spending the next few days really going into detail and looking at the good and maybe the bad. But certainly I'll be bringing you a full honest review on this TV coming soon. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next.